Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. And today we're going to be talking about how not to fail your CDL road test during turns. So if you're looking to get your CDL license, one of the things that you're going to have to do is pass your CDL road test. Your road test itself is going to be split into three different parts. First part of the test is all about inspecting the truck. They're going to have to know how to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. Second part of the test is actually parking the truck six different ways. And third part of the test is actually driving the truck on the road itself. That being said, we actually have the ability to do all the training for you and all of our students actually get tested at our own third party testing site. So if you do have access to that third party testing site, then that means we know exactly how to train you to prepare you for that road test. But in today's video, we're going to talk about how not to automatically fail your test when it comes to the road portion of the test. So when it actually comes to the third part of that test and you start driving on the road, there are certain things that you just simply can't do because if you do one little mistake there, it's considered an automatic fail. One of the things that will be an automatic fail is if you run over the curb. So what does that actually look like? So that means if you're making a turn, if you've ever been driving a car before, you probably have seen a, car, a truck, tractor trailer make a right turn or a left turn and run over the curb with his back trailer tires. If you do that on the test, you're done. So in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the step-by-step -step process on exactly how to avoid all curbs at all costs. So the first thing that you do have to understand when it comes to taking your CDL test is that the curb is no good, but any line that you want on the street is fair game. That means you can cross over yellow lines, white lines, solid lines, dotted lines, does not matter. You can cross over any of those lines if it's uh, to help you not hit a curb itself. So step number one when it comes to making a proper turn to not hit a curb is making sure that you're in the proper portion of your lane which means you want to be in the most right lane if you're making a right turn, most left lane if you're making a left turn, but make sure you're not all the way up close to the curb because what's going to happen is going to make it harder for you to turn. Step number two, you're going to drive straight and turn late as our instructors like to say, and that means simply this, you're going to continue to drive straight. Remember, you're not driving a car. You can't have a, you're going to be having a trailer behind you. Some trailers can be up to 53 feet long behind you, which means you have to go even wider on some of those. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to kind of imagine what the center point of the intersection is. You're going to drive your steering tires, which is your front two tires, across that imaginary center line before you even start to turn. It's going to look super weird the first couple times you do it, but you just have to have faith. So make sure that you set yourself up correctly. You're going to go straight. You're looking at the mirror, depending on which way you want to turn. Once your steering tires have crossed that solid imaginary line in the center of that intersection, then you start to make your right turn or you start to make your left turn. Now the next part is super, super important. You don't want to make a tight turn all the time because if you make a tight turn, remember that trailer is going to make a tight turn too. And that means you might be hitting that curb, whether it's to the right or to the left. So it's super, super important that you're checking out that mirror. So there's two things that you should be looking at. You should be looking at the mirror that you're making the turn in. So if you're making a right turn, look at the right mirror. If you're making a left turn, look in the left mirror itself. Don't be looking at the opposite mirror necessarily. You should be looking forward. If you're to kind of split up the actual percentage wise, you should be looking at your mirrors about 60% of the time when you're making your turns. And you should be looking forward about 40% of the time. That's right, it might sound a little crazy, but super important that you watch that trailer. And if you're watching that trailer and you have to adjust and go wider, then you can always do so too, right? But if you're not watching it, that's where most people do get in trouble. When it comes to me giving the actual test as an examiner, it always stresses me out when a student runs over the curb at the end of the test where I pull him over and I say, okay, you failed the test. He goes, wait, why? I said, because you ran over the curb. Ran over the curb. He goes, what? I ran over a curb? And that, in my mind, I'm like, you should double fail because you don't even know that you ran over the curb. And you might be thinking, if you've never driven a truck, well, how does somebody not feel running over a curb? Because in a car, you'll feel everything. But in a tractor trailer, if the trailer actual uh, tires run over the curb, you won't really feel anything inside a tractor itself. You're always, unless you're looking at the mirrors, you won't see it. So it's super, super important that you're checking out those mirrors. So that being said, if you have to cross over the yellow line or any kind of lines on the street, do whatever you gotta do, avoid that turn and adjust properly, and then you're going to get into your lane. When you do get, uh, when you do complete the turn, make sure you're always in the most right lane, whether that's making a right turn or a left turn, always wind up in the most right lane possible because that's where tractor trailers do belong. So if you follow those simple steps, you will avoid any kind of turns. And the main three steps is going to be make sure that you set yourself up correctly, make sure you're far enough from the curb, but stay inside your lane. 
Second step is go straight, turn light. And then third step, super, super important, check out those mirrors at least 60% of the time so you can make the adjustments as needed. If you, there's a car that's kind of blocking you, just wait there and hopefully he can back up. And if there's a car way, in, way ahead, just stay and don't attempt to turn until you have some space available for you. So I hope this tip helped you out. And if you did watch this video, I better not see you on the test failing for the road portion because that means you didn't really listen. So I want to make sure that you pass and get your CDL license. Our mission is to help a million people get on the road to freedom. What's more free than driving where you want to go and make more money while you're doing it? So give our team a call at 908-525-3609 or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks and have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts, and hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.